this is activity 10-6 and we're going to be allowing a user remote access permissions. So the first thing we need to do is make sure we're logged in as administrator and then we're going to go to administrative tools and active directory users and computers and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a user Okay, um, so make sure that our user is selected. I want to go um, right click in the right hand plane there and go to new and user. And we're going to type in the information. And his name is going to be Sherman Clump. user login is going to be s clump and we're going to give it a password and I'm just going to type in password 01 I'm going to confirm that and I'm going to select the box user must change the password next logon it's already picked and we're going to create the user. Okay, now I want to go and find the user that we just created and select the user. And I should be able to right click on that. Go to properties. Okay, now I want to go to the dial-in tab, and we want to simply um, allow access for remote access. Um, that's going to be dial-in or VPN. So I can click Apply and OK, and we have completed this activity on allowing um, a user remote access permissions. Uh, we also created a new user in. Active Directory Users and Computers in Windows Server 2003.